My dear brothers and sisters, a warm welcome to each one of you for this Holy Eucharist. We pray for your personal intentions, continuing to pray for the sick, suffering and the elderly. Let us sign ourselves. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, Hope and light of the sincere, we humbly entreat you to dispose our hearts, to offer you worthy prayer, and ever to extol you by dutifully proclamation of your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 9, verses 31 to 42. The churches throughout Judea, Galilee, and Samaria were now left in peace, building themselves up, living in the fear of the Lord, and filled with the consolation of the Holy Spirit. Peter visited one place after another and eventually came to the saints living down in Lydda. There he found a man called Aeneas, a paralytic who had been bedridden for eight years. Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ cures you. Get up and fold up your sleeping mat. Aeneas got up immediately. Everybody who lived in Lydda and Sharon saw him, and they were all converted to the Lord. At Zapha there was a woman disciple called Tabitha, or Dorcas in Greek, who never tired of doing good or giving in charity. But the time came when she got ill and died, and they washed her and laid her out in a room upstairs. Lida is not far from Zapha. So when the disciples heard that Peter was there, they sent two men with an urgent message for him. Come and visit us as soon as possible. Peter went back with them straight away. And on his arrival, they took him to the upstairs rooms, where all the widows stood round him in tears, showing him tunics and other clothes Dorcas had made when she was with them. Peter sent them all out of the room and knelt down and prayed. 
Then he turned to the dead woman and said, Tabitha, stand up. She opened her eyes, looked at Peter and sat up. Peter helped her to her feet. Then he called in the saints and widows and showed them she was alive. The whole of Jaffa heard about it and many believed in the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Responsorial Psalm, our response. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the Lord's name. Response How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. O precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. Response How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened my bonds. O thanksgiving sacrifice I make, I will call on the Lord's name. Response How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? Gospel acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia. We know that Christ is truly risen from the dead. Have mercy on us, triumphant King. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 6, verses 60 to 69. After hearing his doctrine, many of the followers of Jesus said, This is intolerable language. How could anyone accept it? Jesus was aware that his followers were complaining about it and said, Does this upset you? What if you should see the Son of Man ascend to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life. The flesh has nothing to offer. The words I have spoken to you are Spirit and they are life. But there are some of you who do not believe. For Jesus knew from the outset those who did not believe and who it was that would betray him. He went on, This is why I told you that no one could come to me unless the Father allows him. After this, Many of his disciples left him and stopped going with him. Then Jesus said to the twelve, What about you? Do you want to go away too? Simon Peter answered, Lord, who shall we go to? You have the message of eternal life. And we believe, we know, that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, in today's Gospel we hear, Jesus had many disciples who followed him. They rejoiced and believed in the signs he performed. However, when Jesus started teaching, about his true identity as the living bread and the need to eat this bread in order to abide in him and have eternal life, many of his disciples left him. They found his teaching not acceptable. Naturally, like any one of us, Jesus would have felt disappointed at that point, he then turns to his chosen twelve to find out 
what they were thinking simon peter takes the lead to express their strong faith in jesus he affirms that jesus indeed has the words of eternal life let us join peter and profess our faith in jesus once again as we hear jesus asking us do you want to go away as well amen we offer you o lord divine our humble gifts of bread and wine we place them on your altar lord today make them worthy of your love send your blessings from above sanctify these gifts o lord we my brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father may, may the, the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church accept in compassion lord we pray the offerings of your family that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received but attend the gifts that are eternal through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift, lift them up to the lord. lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it, it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you o lord but on this day above all to loud you at more gloriously when christ a passover has been sacrificed for he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world by dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life therefore overcome with paschal joy every land every people exalt in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord Hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ At the time when he was betrayed and enter willingly into his passion he took the bread and giving thanks he broke it gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice 
and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis the Pope and Derek our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teachings, we dare to say, Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For, For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the love and joy of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. My dear brothers and sisters, have a wonderful day.